Today I am going to talk about the softwares that you must know if you are a PhD student. First one is the Microsoft Office tools. You don't need to know all of them. But the basic four that you must be knowing are Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel and MS OneNote. MS Word will be used to write your thesis and your research papers. PowerPoint will be used to create your research presentations as well as your research posters. MS Excel will be used to work on the data that you have collected and also to make a basic plots and graphs. MS OneNote is a great tool to organize and store your notes. The second type of software that you must know is a data plotting software. For basic plotting work, you can use the MS Excel, but if you really want to make a good looking plots and graphs, you can use softwares like Origin Pro and Sigma Plot. Now these softwares are the paid ones but the basic work can also be done using MS Excel. You can also use Canva for this work. Another type of software that you must know is a formatting software. Now this thing can be done using Latex. Latex is used to format your thesis or your research papers. Here the line margin, space margin all these things are taken care and your manuscript looks professional. Latex can be used in two formats, offline or online. In the case of offline, you need to install Latex on your computer or your laptop. The softwares that you will need are Mictex and Text Studio. For online, you can use Overleaf to ease up the process. Some basic programming knowledge is required for this but that is very easy one, not too difficult. Apart from this, most of the journals have their text templates. So you can download that template from the journal's website. Just add your information in that template and your research manuscript is ready. Next, you need to learn any one reference management software. Most popular ones are Zotero or Mendeley. These softwares help you to arrange your references with the help of a keyword and also put your references in your manuscript according to the style that you decide. Now, Another type of software that you need to know is in which you will be drawing your basic figures. Now this can also be done using your MS Word but you can also use draw.io and Inkspace for it. Next, while working during your PhD, you may need a software or an app to organize your notes. Some PhD students have notes on their mobile phones, tablets, lab laptops or some even prefer to carry a notebook with them. So I, I, so I will tell you about those apps that are uh, available on all these platforms. These apps are MS OneNote and Evernote. These apps are available on, mo on almost all the platforms. So your notes will sync amongst them no matter which device you use. Last type of software that you must know is a grammar correction so software. Since most of us are not so good in English, I am also not, but <laughs> So we need a grammar correction software for, for this. Now basic spellings and basic grammar can be checked in your Microsoft Word but I will tell you a free tool that you can use here and that tool is Grammarly. You don't need to buy it just the free extension in your MS Word will be enough. Whenever you type something Grammarly will automatically check it and provide you suggestions for it. So tell me which softwares have you used amongst those which I have told you and I want to know from which institute you are doing your PhD. So comment the name of your institute in the comment box. I will be waiting for it. Till the next week, take care.